Hi. We're going to do chapters 5 and 6 together today because they almost form a unit. Uh, they're talking about the generations of Adam all the way through to the time of Noah. Here we go. Chapter 5, verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years and he died. And Seth lived an hundred and five years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years and he died. And Enos lived ninety years and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifteen years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years and begat Mahalaleel. And Canaan lived after he begat Mahalalel eight hundred and forty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived sixty and five years, and begat Jared. And Mahalalel lived after he begat Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalel were eight hundred and ninety and five years, and he died. And Jared lived an hundred and sixty and two years, and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived and hundred eighty and seven years, and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred and sixty and nine years. And Lamech lived an hundred eighty and two years, and begat a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now we're going to chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. The sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they, which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way on earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an art of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make of it. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, 
wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, and of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee, to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. And thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Good day. Now for chapters 5 and 6, we have some very interesting commentary uh, as to what happens. This is a, one particular set of chapters where there's a lot of confusion by some people. Uh, you need to understand something where these individuals are named as having individual children. For instance, as Adam has Seth as his son. And then Seth has another son, and then that son has another son. And the individuals that are named are named for a particular reason. The reason that they're named is that although there were other children born before them and other children born after them, these individuals that are named are distinguished because of their personal righteousness, and because of that, they were chosen to be the leader, the patriarch, not because of age, but because of righteousness, over the whole family. And so, after Adam had passed on, Seth, because he had proven himself righteous, became the leader. And it goes on and on and on all through. Now, the second thing you need to understand is, what's the difference between the children of God and the children of men? I want you to remember back earlier chapter, Cain slew his brother Abel, killed him, murdered him, and he was driven out. And he started his own group of people. And the children of God were those descendants of Adam who lived the teachings they were taught by God in the Garden of Eden and afterwards, lived righteously, were honest, were honorable, worshipped God. Those people who were the children of men, male and female, were those people who were descendants of Cain, the people who basically were quite prepared to murder, to steal, to lie, to do whatever. Two very distinct groups of people. The problem that's outlined in chapter 6 is that you had the, some of the sons of God, some of these children of the righteous individuals, found the daughters of the unrighteous individuals to be fair and took them to wife. And the problem with that was it would basically see to it that it was virtually impossible for their children to then grow up righteous because of the unrighteous influence of the uh, one side of the family. And that became a great problem. The problem was that because of that, we see that all virtually all of the people on the whole face of the earth, by the time we get down to Noah, was considered by God to be corrupt. And Noah was so upset with this that Noah, it was just Noah and his three sons and their families, and that was all that was righteous. And the Lord looked on it, and it's, that's why we had a cleansing of the earth. Now, the instructions that Noah got for building the ark uh, are very interesting. We're not going to go into the technical things. Yet. There's all kinds of references on it online. And uh, if you got some questions about why it's the way it was, what it is, just give me a, drop me an email and we'll be glad to discuss it with you. I'll give you some of the references. Have a lovely day. We'll look forward to chapter 7 next.